the value in that product, right? If you just give them one thing that they can use it for, it's just a bowl. It's just a bowl. You put stuff in it, you cover it up. That's it. You really think they're going to spend 10, 12, $20 on a bowl if that's all they can use it for. So you really have to give them that it's not a one trick pony deal. And they're going to want to buy that piece of Tupperware from you because they can use it in so many different ways. So some of the things that I like to share, um, especially with our cold brew, we all know the cold brew coffee carafe is for your cold brew coffee, right? We also know that it's great for cold brew tea. You could do your loose leaf tea in here or even tea bags in here. But also a third part could be that you're infusing Here we go. So the third part could be that you're infusing your water and slicing up some lemon, putting some strawberries, a couple of leaves of basil in there, have some strawberry lemon basil water. Um, you could even do lemonade and then put some uh, lavender inside your filter basket and have lavender lemonade. Okay, so not only is it cost saving, but you look extra fancy and you're using a Tupperware product for a third reason, right? So multiple reasons to have our amazing cold brew, okay? And of course you need more than one cold brew because you gotta have your coffee going, you gotta have your tea going. <laughs> so multiple reasons for people to have more than one. Uh, another thing that I like to do is kind of think outside the box. Who loves to watch those videos on Facebook or TikTok or um, you know, YouTube where they're giving you life hacks? Who loves a good life hack? right? And guess who else loves it? Our customers. So why aren't we sharing life hacks with Tupperware for our customers? So one thing that I thought was so clever, especially now when everybody's trying to be very clean and sanitized, right? And we want to be healthy. So there was this really great life hack um, that I saw for people who traveled or maybe they were camping or they were out and about and they just didn't have a way to wash their hands right and they're getting ready to have a meal or whatever or their hands got dirty and they needed to wash it so i saw that they took this is a classic bar of soap okay so i have like a little dial bar and then they took a peeler and they shaved off little peelings of soap and then they could take those little peelings and maybe you're out in a place where they have a restroom, but they don't have any soap. And you're like, Ugh, how frustrating is that? I don't have any soap. Well, you have a little Tupper mini filled with shavings of soap. Let's see if I get that clear there for you. But look at those little curls in there. Isn't that so cute? So all you do is you take your Tupperware peeler, you pull out your little bar of soap, and you put it on the counter and you're just going to take it and give it a little bit of pressure and push down and you're going to get that little ribbon of soap and then you take that little ribbon curl and you put it inside your tupper mini and voila you have a little soap for you on the go and you can put that in your little camping gear you can keep it in the back of your car put it in your first aid kit you always have a little antibacterial soap ready to go for you. All right, another fun thing that I like to do, uh, especially if you're in a pinch or you're making multiples of things is a cake taker. Okay, so we have a cake taker, right? And it's absolutely amazing and it has dual purpose. You can flip it over and show the divided side. So you could do like a veggie tray, charcuterie board, whatever. But sometimes you've already got something in the cake taker. Okay, we don't have like five cake takers in our pantry. We might have one or two. So in a pinch, you can take a that's a bowl and turn it into a cake taker. So your seal now is your base of your cake taker. That's where your cake's gonna sit. And then the bowl is inverted and that's the cover of your cake taker. So here we go. We've got our beautiful cake that I made in the microwave this morning, of course, with the stack cooker. And um, my kids got to it. <laughs> that's what happens when they smell the cake cooking, right? 
But let me show you another fun thing that I did. Do you see, I started decorating the top of my cake and I have a cute little tulip on there, right? And what I did was I took one of my daughter's stencils, of course, a Tupperware stencil. And I just took some paper and I covered up the stencils that I don't wanna use. Of course, I washed it, okay, because she uses it at her crafting desk. So I washed it first, covered up the parts that I don't want to use. And then I took my powdered sugar from my modular mate, oh, laid my stencil on top, took one of our fun little um, tiny treasures. This is the mini sifter. See how it's got the little holes in there? And I scooped up a little bit of powdered sugar. Okay, and then I went over my stencil. I know you guys can't see, let me turn it down just a little bit. And I'm just gonna tap on the top. And this is fun for um, French toast too. The kids like to take and decorate their French toast. Okay, and then lift it up and move it to the next one. You want a good amount too so that it's nice and thick and it has a really great outline. And there you go. And I rest my little thing right there on the side because it has that hook. And you have this beautifully decorated cake that you made in literally 10 minutes. Okay, so that's your in a pinch cake taker with our that's a bowl. And of course, our stencils stored in a modular mate. You gotta use your, your Tupperware to store everything. All right, now for the last couple of tips I like to share is our measuring cups and spoons. Now I know we use them for measuring, right? But maybe think outside the box and share with your customers different ways they can use their measuring cups and spoons. One thing I like to do, <laughs> we're all trying to get back into our beach bod, right? <laughs> So we need portion control. And I have here a third cup and we eat rice a lot in this house. My husband's Filipino, so it's like mandatory. We have rice going at all times. And so I like to portion out the rice. A third of a cup of white rice is a portion. So I grab that and I put it into the rice cooker, scoop it out, press it into the snack or to the measuring cup and look how pretty you have a little presentation. You could pour gravy or you could sprinkle it with some cilantro and lime juice and you look super fancy, but you're knowing you're giving them the right portion and another purpose for our measuring cups and spoons. All right, and then the last one or a couple, I have two left, uh, is our cabinets. And I know we have place for seals, right? And they're great for some of the larger seals. But sometimes those Tupper mini seals and those snack cup seals make you a little crazy. The covers to our, um, our water bottles, they just end up everywhere, right? Well, take some Tupperware and line up your snack cup seals. So I've got a retired Fridge Smart in here and our, yeah, freezer mate. And I have our seals tucked in there, right in the... In, and then the great thing is I don't have to go to the store and look for those organizing caddies or those, you know, silverware trays or whatever. I have the Tupperware to use to make these organizational drawers, right? Um, show people how to organize their junk drawer using Tupperware. So in a smaller one, I have all those Tupper mini seals. So I know exactly where they are and everybody knows exactly where they go when they're done being washed, right? All right, and then, our packables, so the one that we have in our host gift special right now, um, the clear one with the nice neoprene beach bag, and it has the three little, or the four little three ounce water bottles in it. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite containers. I use this for absolutely everything in my house. So my husband has one with some of the mini packables inside, and he keeps all of his eye care. Um, his eye drops, his, um, so his glasses that he puts on before bed, he puts his contact solution, everything in one of these. So in our kitchen, it looks nice and neat because he has little packables filled with all that stuff. My daughter has three or four of these at her desk. She's got markers in one, pencils in another, glue sticks in the other, and everything has a place. 
I have here in mine, I have my blue light glasses, a post-it note, a couple of pens, okay, and this sits by my desk. I have one filled with my name tags. I mean, really, I just use them for everything. And think about the beach. You could put your sunscreen in here, your sunglasses. You could put some lidocaine aloe for your sunburn after. <laughs> you know, you have um, just an amazing container. Your eye your iPhone, your chargers, your all those little things that just get tangled up and in a mess, keep them in a packable. How great is this? Um, and then the other thing too, I have one of these is a first aid kit. So I've got tissues and antibacterial wipes and um, gauze and band-aids and all those things. And it's portable. I could take it in a bag if I need to. I keep it one in the car, very handy. So everybody needs to be a hostess and earn, even if they just earn this container right here, it'll be all worth it, okay? So make sure you guys share all the different ways you can use Tupperware. We're not just a one trick pony and uh, share, share, share all of those great ideas that you guys probably have too, that um, we use Tupperware in multiple ways.